Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. We are trying out a new product today on our long-term test Ford Maverick, and that is the Kiko Sport Bar, an all new product here in the United States. So we're gonna do an unbox, an install, and a review. The Kiko Sports Bar is a product that's offered as an official item of the Ford Accessory Catalog in Brazil for the Ford Maverick. Not available through Ford dealerships here in North America, Kiko USA has just launched the styling product here through a regional merchandising and shipping depot. Manufactured in Brazil, it's made of steel tubing with a crinkle coat finish and pretty robust plastic connection hardware, all for a very OEM look and feel. It's made to attach without any drilling using factory pre-threaded bolt holes in the bed of the Maverick. It arrived to me in a large box about the size of a water heater. Opening it up revealed a pretty good level of packaging inside to keep all of the parts in their place and from being damaged. Once all the parts were out, I was pleased that the main forward section was already pre-assembled. All of the other components at first blush appeared to be well made and of a good quality of material. The bag of attachment hardware was complete, nothing missing. There was of course a set of printed instructions, but for my own installation I downloaded the larger format PDF from the Kiko website and printed it out for ease of reading. The instructions were simple and the only tools that were needed were a 10 and 13 millimeter socket and ratchet, a 13 millimeter wrench, and a cross tip screwdriver. As mentioned, no drilling required. I do have a factory drop-in bed liner, which this product is compatible with. If you have a factory drop-in bed liner, you may need to drill holes in it for the bolts to get through to the steel before installation. Also, I had a cleat and rail system which had to be removed to install the sport bar, as the two are not compatible. This is because it attaches to the same pre-threaded anchor points as the cleat and rail, and the brackets are not designed to allow both. The process started with applying provided self-adhesive foam padding to the bottom of the upper mounting brackets so they won't mar the plastic bed caps over time. This is helpful if you want to remove it later and not have wear marks where it was. After that, the brackets can then be attached to the bed. The lower brackets attach directly to the wall and must slip in behind the steel bed cap rail because the upper brackets when installed create a clamping effect to the steel and plastic to keep it anchored solid. A pretty ingenious design. If you have a drop in bed liner as I do, it takes a little extra patience to get the lower brackets worked into place as it is a tighter fit. All of the brackets are first installed with the bolts hand tight. That way they can be moved around and adjusted when it comes time to install the front and rear bar sections. The pre-assembled front section is set into place first and then you can follow up with hand threading the attachment bolts through the forward brackets. Once you get it loosely into position, the sidebars are installed by sliding the plastic connectors into the forward section tubing. From this point forward, it's all about making adjustments to the position and the brackets to make sure everything is straight and connected up where you want it. The sidebars are then held into alignment with self-tapping screws, which keep the plastic pipe connectors solid at the side. Once you've got everything adjusted and in the right place, you can then tighten and torque down all of the bracket bolts front to rear and on both sides to lock it into place. The torque specs are provided in the installation instructions. Alright my friends, there you go for the unboxing and install on the Kiko Sport Bar for the Ford Maverick. Now this product retails for about $630 right now. It's new on the market here in the United States. These are very popular in Latin America and a lot of other countries south of the border. They've been around for a long time called a chase rack in some of those other countries. And in that way, the thing I really have to point out here is this is not a safety device. This is not a roll bar. This is not going to add to rollover safety for your truck. This is all about styling. It's all about looks. And so in that way, I might just add a set of lights up there on top on mine. I'm sort of looking into that right now, but, but this is a good product if you actually need to have a place to mount some lights, or perhaps you're a pilot car for those big oversized loads and you need some kind of a setup to be able to mount your equipment up there. So there are some practical uses for this. Overall, I'm very impressed with the workmanship, the quality of the finish. I'm glad that this front section was pre-assembled. That saved me a lot of work. 
installing this took me about an hour not counting the camera setups and things like that now there are a few things you need to know this is not compatible with factory cleat and rail system on the bed or the diy aftermarket ones also it is not compatible with tonneau covers most tonneau covers out there because of the way it mounts and because of the rails they're in the way for the tonneau covers but the good news is Kiko happens to have two tonneau covers that are compatible with this, a soft roll-up, as well as a retractable aluminum cover, and you can get manual or power operated on that. Some pretty interesting products out there. One of them we got to see at the SEMA show just earlier this month. So this is a product I definitely recommend you check out if this styling bar is kind of your bag, not for everybody. There are links down below in our information section, not only for this bar, but for the Kiko products that are compatible with this in the way of tonic covers. So there you go. Pretty cool, huh? So you can see all of our Maverick coverage. We have test drives, we have technical, we have product reviews right there, over 50 videos. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel right down there and stay informed of everything we do. Either way, stay tuned.